Hello and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are well. Now today I'm going to try and persuade you to run the London Marathon. Now I'm going to try and give you some reasons as, as to why you should run the London Marathon. I'm sure, I don't know if you watched it yesterday or maybe you went up with some friends or you had people running it but it is the most incredible experience to run it and watch it. We actually went up yesterday and we watched my mum run it um, and we love, I mean, I don't know what we're going to do if someone doesn't run it because we love we loved to go up um, and, it, and it's so much fun. So I am going to give you today five reasons why you should run the London Marathon. Now, <clears throat> the first reason is it's a fantastic challenge. I ran the London Marathon in 2018. Um, I was due to run it in 2017, but I was pregnant, so I deferred it. And there was quite a bit of me that um, wasn't sure if to run it or not, seeing as I'd recently had a baby. But I wanted that challenge. I wanted to have something which I this is going to sound quite selfish, but have something aside from just being a mum. Of course, you can set yourself a challenge without having to run a London Marathon, but I kind of wanted, when I knew I had a place and when I knew I wanted to um, consider running it, I just had to take up the challenge of doing it. Um, and I found that run, having the challenge of running a marathon made me feel good about myself, gave me some self-esteem, knowing like, you know, knowing what I could achieve. When I was training, I um, started my training, sorry, after Christmas, because the London Marathon is in April, so I didn't do anything really before Christmas, um, and when I, so I started my training, sorry, after Christmas, and I followed a training plan that I got off the Virgin London Marathon website and it was a 17 week beginner plan so it really built me up gradually gradual sorry um sorry gradual to run those longer distances and when I set off when I when I first finally decided yeah I'm gonna run it I'm gonna accept the place I just thought okay I'll run walk it and then as sort of it went on, I was sort of thinking, okay, I'll, I'll run half marathon and walk, run the rest. But as soon as I um, really, really got into my training, I knew that I just, I just wanted to run the whole thing. I wanted to challenge myself. Um, and I think towards the end, I ran <clears throat> a couple of 20 milers, um, which really set me up well for, for the race day. Yes, and it, it, you know, I achieved so much more than I thought I would. And I just loved having that challenge, especially just after having uh, Alyssa, um, <clears throat> which obviously being a mum is a challenge in itself, isn't it? But I just knew that I had that place and I had to take it. Reason number two is the fact that the London Marathon has fantastic an incredible atmosphere and just the most <clears throat> supportive and positive crowds. There is people along the course throughout the London Marathon course. They are cheering you on. I would recommend if you're thinking of running it, definitely get your name on your t-shirt because um, I don't, I can't remember. No, I didn't have it on. Did I? That's really bad. I can't actually remember. I'm not sure, but you definitely, I definitely heard people's names being called out because they had their names on a t-shirt and it's just at those times when you are feeling like you just want to give up on, on everything, um, having your name called out really spurs you on and it's just such a nice, com like a community feel, it's, you know, and also you're running alongside people as well and it's so much 
easier than your training was when you were just running on your own. And yeah, so the crowds are fantastic and they're so positive and it's just also makes such a big part I found of my experience was the, the atmosphere in the crowds, you know, they've got bands and music playing. Yeah, really fantastic. The third thing is the third thing is the sights and that it's mainly flat. You know, London is a fantastic city. You can you I love walking around it, I love going up to London and when you're running it you just get to soak in all these sights especially or if you haven't been to London before you do see a lot of the sights of London and it also is mainly flat there are a few ups and downs but overall it's a mainly flat course when I was training I basically wherever you go where I am there is a hill so that made training tricky at times but I felt that when I came to race day I was prepared and having it, you know, London being mainly flat, I was kind of already felt in myself that I was a step ahead because I've been training for, with hills and this course was flat, which I think makes running 26.2 miles a little bit easier. The fourth thing, so the fourth thing is it is fantastically well organized from when you go to, when you collect your number, so you can collect your number from Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday before race day, and you go up to Excel, it's a big expedition, and when you collect your number, you just have to take a proof of ID, and then you, there's lots of like stalls where you can buy um, last minute bits and bobs. I wouldn't recommend buying trainers or kit, because I did actually try and run in my out, um, run outfit that I was gonna run in, and I wore my pair of trainers in. But there was other bits and bobs like bar gels and bars and things and there's a few like things to do there. So that was great fun and it's really simple and quick and easy. And then um, on the day you go to the start and you drop your bag off and again you just put it into the lottery where your number comes under. And then that's, that's that and, and then you just run 26.2 miles. Along the way also there's water stations and um, gels as well and that's really fantastic they're really easy to do um and get it's easy, really easy sorry to get your water and get any gels that you need i didn't rely on the fact that there was gels um but i could have done because the stations are really um easy to like get to uh, so yeah so that's along the course and then when you finish the race there is um collecting your bag you literally finish it and then you as you walk to sort of meet friends and family you're just walking past all the um bag lorries so you just collect the um your bag and then meeting friends and family you just go to um, the first letter of your surname and they should be there so it, it's just so well organized and so simple and quick and that takes any pressure off and you can do then just concentrate on actually running um I would, the only thing I would say is just make sure you're all organised with your travel to get there and make sure you know which trains and time so you're not having to stress about looking on train boards or anything you've got that organised day but you know you've all got that organised. The fifth reason why I believe you should run the London Marathon is it is an incredible achievement to be proud of. You know I am proud of the fact that I ran the London Marathon and it will be an experience that I will never forget. It hasn't put me off doing it again. I would do it again. Um, gonna have a little break though. <laughs> I wouldn't. I would definitely, definitely do it again. Um, and you know, it's nice to have that achievement that you're you're proud of. I look back and think, you know, when I see people talking about running this year, I think, oh, I did that. Like I run, I ran twenty six point two miles and. To think like now, like I'm not running much, even though I need to start, but I'm not running much. I think how how could I how could I do that now? But I did, if that makes sense. It, and like I would say to anybody, like you can do it because I went into it running nothing basically, 
and I came out and I did it in, um, I mean, not that it matters for time and I wasn't, I say I wasn't doing it for a time, I was doing it for a time because that's the challenge, the fact that I like a challenge, I wanted to do it <clears throat> um, under five and a half hours and I did it in five hours and 12 minutes. <laughs> Sorry, and I completely forgot what I was saying there, but yeah, you know, five hours and 12 minutes, I was proud of that. And I think anybody who even gets in and and does that should be proud. I think next time <laughs> I would look to try and beat my time. And also, if it wasn't, cause last year was so hot and I felt that I could have got like five hours or under five hours if it hadn't been so hot, but that just affected things. So never mind, but I'm proud. So I hope I have persuaded you to enter um, the London Marathon. I believe the ballot is like a week after the event. Um, it is quite hard to get in through the ballot. It took me a good three or four, even maybe five years, I think. And if you can't, if you don't um, get through the ballot, then there's always a charity place you could run for um, a charity that's close to your heart. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I hope to see you soon.